So hello, my name is Rafael Monga and I will present the advanced virtual flow meters that I've been developing here at Soft Sensor. So we will start with an introduction and then we will see the classical virtual flow meter approach and then I will present the advanced virtual flow meter approach developed here. So we will then finish with the conclusions. So the problem that we often meet is that we would like to install a flow meter somewhere, but it's not really uh, possible because of the prohibitive cost or maybe localization, maybe there is just no place for it. And then the possible solution is to use a virtual flow meter. So a software that calculates the flow rates using available measurements and system models. An example so of this classical virtual flow meter approach. So we would like to estimate the flow at a control valve. So, we can use the available measurements, here the pressures, temperatures, the position of the control valve, the known valve characteristics, and then using the valve sizing equations, actually, we obtain the mass flow rate. Okay, so this is the European norm, for example, that describes this, uh, those equations that we, can have, that we have here. And then, this is how virtual flow meters provide approximative estimation of the mass flow rate, or a volumetric flow rate at the valve. However, the accuracy is limited by the quality of the measurements that we obtain, which are the valve positions and the temperature and pressure of the fluid flowing through the valve, and also the knowledge of the exact installed valve characteristics is not always uh, obvious, actually, <laughs> it's not always complete. And sometimes we can do the calibration of this installed capacity, valve capacity, but however, it's not always possible to do it. And uh, in order to overcome this imprecision, this imperfection of the virtual flow meter, we've advanced, we've well, developed here the advanced virtual flow meter concept. Where, so for the same example of the control valve, we not only take into account the pressures and temp temperatures and the position of the control valve itself, but also the impact of this flow rate through the valve on the upstream and downstream parts of the system. So let's have a look here on this uh, advanced virtual flow meter concept here, where we see the model of the valve as in the classical uh, virtual flow meter, but also we have incorporated the model of the system surrounding the, the valve, depending, influenced by the mass flow rate through the valve, and then we can use this uh, information uh, in order to obtain a better, better estimate of the mass flow rate or the volumetric flow rate at the valve. So basically, we can discuss here an application example of this uh, approach where at the LHC there are hundreds of valves where helium and the coolant is flowing at very low mass flow rates. So it's very difficult actually to, uh, to, to, to obtain this virtual flow meter um, estimate for this very low uh, rate due to imperfection of the of the characteristics of the valves and some other uh, equipment that is influencing the installed valve capacity. So using the advanced flow meter, uh, virtual flow meter approach, we are able to incorporate measurements of the temperature distribution of the components cooled using uh, this uh, coolant actually flowing through the valve and then we were able to improve the estimate of the mass flow rate of the valve. So for more details about this application, please have a look on this conference paper here. And then, as we've seen, the advanced virtual flow meter may significantly improve the flow rate estimation by taking into account the bigger picture. So the impact of the flow rate, in this example, on the behavior or the dynamics of the rest of the system. And then also using, uh, well, we can also improve this uh, estimation by using advanced estimation techniques, including nonlinear estimation and online dynamics models. So this is the basic idea about the virtual flow meters. But in general, as we've seen, this is a software that in some instances can replace the physical flow meters, hardware, and they, the virtual flow meters can be used as cheap source as redundant information, redundant uh, measurements, because it's 
they don't really need a lot of investment and then the advanced flow meters may provide superior quality of estimated flow rates comparing to the typical classical virtual flow meters. So thank you very much for your attention and regard if you have any other questions regarding this technology please contact us here at uh, Soft Sensor France or in Switzerland. Thank you very much.